is Sound of the Sirens. And this song is called Afraid of the Dark. Gemma. So, Abby wrote Afraid of the Dark about you. What inspired the lyrics for that song? Um, Abby wrote the song because um, a few years ago I'd been diagnosed with a terminal illness. Um, I've got a brain tumour, it's inoperable in my brain stem. Um, and in 2010 I was told that I only had a few months left to live. Um, so, it was obviously absolutely heartbreaking from, from me and all, my, all of my friends um, and that's what inspired Abby to, to write the song. Um, since that diagnosis, miraculously, things have got a lot better. Um, I did go through radiotherapy, chemotherapy, um, even planned my own funeral at one point, uh, but actually since then um, things have turned around. Um, I've been, now been off chemo for six months, 
So things are looking very positive um, and a long way that continue. Yeah, sounds like a very traumatic time. Yeah, it was. Um, well, so tell us about GEMFEST. Okay, well GEMFEST started off as um, a surprise birthday party for me. Now obviously due to the circumstances, I wasn't at, expected to live to my 30th birthday. So when I got there, um, it was an absolute miracle and, and all my friends arranged for a surprise party. Know, knowing my history of loving festivals and live music, they organised my very own festival called GEMFEST. Um, it was as, uh, it had tents and everybody had their wellies and festival gear on, live music and all sorts. It was absolutely brilliant. Um, so that's how it all began. And um, so what is GEMFEST now? So, well, after GEMFEST, my friend Susan and I got together and we said, wouldn't it be great if we could make this a, an annual thing? Um, so we decided to, to do our best to, to, to try and make it a, a charity event um, and hold it every year. We managed to get a meeting with the guys at the Phoenix who very kindly offered to let us have the building free of charge. Um, so we've since then been sort of gathering momentum, getting more people involved in it. Um, and yeah, it's, it's been a success. This will be our third, third year in 2015. Um, and hopefully it'll just get bigger and better from now on. Okay, um, so um, who benefits from Gem First? Well, the first year all of the money went to the Brain Tumor Charity, um, and then from the second year on we've been dividing the money equally, so half of the money goes again to the Brain Tumor Charity, and the other half goes to hospice care, um, and because hospice care were absolutely brilliant while I was ill, um, and they are an amazing local charity that need all, all of the support they can get. So yeah, we've now, we now give half of our money to them. So when does GEMFEST happen? Um, GEMFEST happens, well so far it's happened, the first one was on my birthday, but since then it's happened Easter Sunday because that's the day that the Phoenix are happy to let us have the building for free. Um, so it's a great sort of Easter thing to do. The daytime is a completely free family event. Um, loads of stuff for the little ones to do and there's live music and the, the bars open, food available, just a great day out for all the family. Um, and then in the evening it turns into a music festival. So oh. you've, there's music, comedy, over th two or three stages, DJs, loads of bits and bobs going on. It's a really good, good event. I'm really proud of it.